What is up, bitches? Today I have a bow here against a guy named Brandon of the AAX. I really don't know his uh, username off of YouTube, so um, I'll figure it out later and later on or something like that. And um, I'll just put a link to his YouTube page in the description if I ever find it. So, um, yeah, uh, the reason why I haven't like posted anything in like a week is because I'm really, really like really psyched in into the uh, the new Yu-Gi-Oh uh, World Champion 2011. And, um, you know, it's like the best fucking game ever because I love fucking playing Yu-Gi-Oh! It's like the best shit ever. And so, I even have my very first uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Wi-Fi duel. Um, they actually added a new feature where you can actually record it, your own duels off of Wi-Fi. And, um, you know, you can like, you know, look at them and watch the replay like a versus recorder and I really love that feature because now I can post Wi-Fi duels and shit you know on YouTube so I got my first one up on you know on YouTube as I said and um, it's under the the Spartan duck which is uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh account and um, I will post a link to that video in the description if you guys are a really big Yu-Gi-Oh fan you can go check it out uh, it's against Naranagi and um, it was a pretty close game actually so I really recommend you go check that out but anyways um, this is the battle here uh, against Brandon as I said before and I'm actually using a request team uh, from Nado95 I think that's how you say his name but anyways um, he's got this Arcanine here and he flare blitzed me and um, I thought he was banned because he actually ocals my Volcarona, which I really did not expect from an Arcanine, you know. Uh, I know those Saints have really, really high attack stats, but wow, that was just pretty damn amazing. Like, it actually Oko a Volcarona. So that just shows me that he is max attack. He's probably adamant. Otherwise, that probably would have not taken me out, or either that, or I'm just underestimating the power of the mighty Arcanine. But anyways, um, I go into Reuniculus, I think, um, just to take the electric move and shit. But he roars me out, and he roars me into my Mackenzie here, my Kajungo. And um, I do have Fake Out and the Choice Scarf, which was a kind of a dumb thing to do. I, I was meant to put Life Orb on this guy, but I totally forgot to change it and shit. So, yeah, I was kind of stupid on there. Bad savin on my part. But anyways, uh, I'm going to bring in my Reuniculus here. Um... Thinking he would predict my Notori, so, you know, because I'm actually seeing more of these Metagrosses that carries in in Power Fire. So, I had a hunch, so I went to Reuniclus, and he does carry the hidden Power Fire, which means, um, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna go into Notori on this guy. So, yeah, um, he's gonna go for me and Mash, gets an attack race, which really sucks for me. Because now he's able to take out my Reuniclus, so if he did not get that attack rise, I probably would have lived it, get it off of recover, and hopefully, you know, take it out with another focus blast. But that's not the case, because he did get that attack rise, and that really sucks dick. So, I'm going to bring my Lenny, my Choice Bandit Haxorus, and this thing's a fucking monster, holy shit. But I went for a brick break, uh, thinking he might stay, and just wanted to, like, you know, let that thing die, but he just brings in Zapdos, knowing that he would get, like, a, um... A free roost or something, but uh, I'm gonna bring my Kukadio, uh, knowing that um, you know I can I resist the electric move, and I do have that super effective Stone Edge on me, so I will go for that. But he brings in Metagross. I was thinking about going for the Crunch instead of Stone Edge uh, because of the fact that he does have this Metagross. But, um, y you know, he might stay in. I really don't know what this guy, you know, I don't know how he plays or, you know, how he do how he does play the game or whatever. So, I say, you know what, go for Stone Edge, see what he'll do. And he says, you know, go into Metagross. So, I bring in Kajango just for Death Fodder. And now I'm going to bring my Krukadio here just to Revenge Killer. Get that Moxie boost up. So, now I'm at plus one attack, which is pretty damn awesome. And now he brings in Starmie. Now, here, I thought he was Choice Scarf. But at the same time, I thought he might be bluffing it because I don't know how my mind work my mind worked out like that, but uh, he ends up tricking, goes for that trick, and he gives me a choice scarf, but he, I already had the choice scarf, so that pretty much cost him the game right there, I really have to say, because that really, really, um, really throw him, like, I don't know, it was just like one of those moments where you're like, fuck, I made a mistake, and it's like, fuck my life, uh, face palm, you know, but we get that like every day, so, you know, that really sucks for him, because that 
pretty much cost him the game right there because Starmie would have definitely helped him out in this game. As you can see, you know, I got my Haxorus, which could have easily been killed by an Ice Beam, maybe, I don't know, but, um, it caused a hit on top. And I'm gonna go into Tori just to be fodder because I really got nothing to take a close combat from this guy, so I'm just gonna leave him in to die. And, uh, I'm just gonna go into my owner, my Haxorus, not owner no Kuso. God damn it. I gotta learn these English me. I gotta learn these English names. God damn it. But anyways, I'm just gonna go for that choice bandit outrage and holy fuck, it's like going to kill something. And it killed a hit on top, which is fantastic. So here comes a Zapdos, and I thought this outrage was not going to kill, but I underestimated the power of a fucking Haxorus, cause that fucking Oko's that shit. Like holy fuck. Fuck, man, you do not mess with him, man. Fucking Haxorus is not playing no games, man. I mean, look at that. He fucking Oko, like, Oko a, a fucking Zapdos. Holy shit. Damn, this thing's a fucking monster. I'm not even kidding, but... I hit myself in confusion, which really sucks, because that definitely would have taken out his last guy, which happens to be this Arcanine, but it really doesn't matter, because I do have the Crocodile that can take an extreme speed, and will easily uh, take it out with the Earthquake, so that was a pretty uh, damn awesome game right there, dude. Uh, I will post the link to your YouTube page as soon as you tell me, uh, cause I totally forgot because I'm a freaking idiot, but whatever, um, that will be it, and don't forget to subscribe to the guy who requested it team, which is Nando95, I will post a link to his YouTube page in the description, uh, don't forget to, uh, subscribe to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel, as I already said that I posted my first, uh, Wi-Fi duel on there. So please go check that out, uh, give it a thumbs up if you want to, uh, favorite it, I don't know. And, um, you know, just, uh, yeah, comment, like it, and subscribe, and I'll check you guys next time. Peace out, bitches!